What's good with my folks this morning? It's a blessed day. I don't know who let Jack Frost in, but I guess this was his time. What's up, everybody? This is your guy, Rev Ride. Check in, check in. Just let me know if you're out here. Just want to say good morning to the folks real quick. Get in, get out. And I hope you're having a safe and blessed winter wonderland. Check this. We don't own this music, but we're going to dance to it, you know? Can I kick it? <laughs> But can I kick it? What's up, Maurice, man? Good morning, brother. <laughs> can we kick it? Oh, my gosh. I'm hype. I'm cold, but I'm still hype. We're going to see this dream for a minute. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Listen, this is your guy, Red Rod. I'm here this morning. I just want to bring some reality to the situation. I don't know about you, but I'm alive this morning, and I'm feeling mighty good. And I hope you're feeling, hey, sweetie, good morning to you. Oh, everybody's on here this morning. I love it. I love it. We're in a winter wonderland down here in the land of the living. Nick, what's good, brother? Um, and I'm feeling really good this morning. Again, I'm cold, but it's all right. But listen, let me hit this message because I want y'all to go about y'all business. I want y'all to have a fabulous day, a phenomenal day, in fact. But I just want to talk to you just real quick because it was important. It was important for me to get this message to you this morning. Um, I need some of y'all to be atypical planters. I was like, well, what in the mess is the atypical planter? He said, Rodney, didn't you check the stats? He said, it's snowing in most of the East Coast right now. And it's cold. Most of us, we're not planting nothing. We're not planting anything. But check this out. It's important that you plant. And let me tell you why you need to be an atypical planter. There's this quick story. It's a quick story. Marvin, what's up, bro? Pastor Marvin, yes, my brother there. Check this out. There's a story about these 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 servants, right? And they had a master, and the master was getting ready to go away. But before he went away, right, he said, "Listen, I'm gonna leave y'all a little bag of gold, right?" So to one he gave five, to another he gave two, and to another he gave one. Now check this out. Check this. I need y'all listen. He gave them some gold. The master said, "I'm gonna give y'all something, and then I'm gonna leave." Right, so he gave him gold, but he said, listen, I want to see what you're going to do with this, right? So I want y'all to make believe this is y'all gifts, right? Just make believe that the bag of golds are your gifts. And we're starting out on this Monday morning, and it's time for you to get to work, and it's time for you to make it happen or make it happen Monday. So watch this. The master goes away, and he said five to one, and then, then the other I'm going to give two bags, and the other I'm going to give one bag. Well, check this out. One of the servants went ahead, and he multiplied it by five. I don't I'm not sure how he did it, but he, he invested it, and guess what? He got the best, and he said five for five, right? And then there was another one. He took two, and guess what? He did the same thing that the first one did, and he did two for two. So now he has four. But then there was one, and I left this part out, that God gave each of them, right, according to their ability. No problem. Check this. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about who? You. Right. And so he gave each one of them according to their ability. Well, when the master came back, <laughs> master came back, he came back and here's what he said. They all said, master, listen, you gave me five and I went ahead and I got five more. And he said, guess what? My good and faithful servant. He said, you know, what? I gave you a little, but now I'm going to allow you. Right. Right. I'm going to allow you to be a manager over more. Why? Because you managed the little that I gave you, right? And so guess what? The one with the two, he came back. Now he has four. And guess what? He said the same thing. The master said the same thing to him. But the one, there was one of them, right? That, that there was one of them. And I hope this is not you. There was one of them that took their talent and he put it in the ground, right? See, Tom Harvey, he figured, look, common sense, he gave me this bag of gold. I'm going to put it in the ground. And guess what? Nothing's going to happen to it. It's going to be secure. When the master came back, he said, look, what you have? And he looked at him and he said, oh, well, here, I'm bringing this back to you. This is what you gave me. I'm giving it back to you. And he was so upset with him. I mean, he was so upset with him because guess what? He wasn't faithful over the little that he had. Instead, he was fearful. He was fearful. So he put it in the ground. And he did not multiply the very thing that God gave him. I'm talking to you. Is it Monday morning? Is it time for you to invest your talent? The talent that God gave you? I think so. I think so. But for most of us, for a long time, right? We're here now in a new month. Black History Month. Shout out. Lift every voice and sing. I know I'm talking to somebody. But for some of us, we've been putting our talents in the ground. 
And God's been looking at us going, wait a minute. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I left <laughs> and I told you to do right by this talent. I told you to do right by this bag of gold. You got gold in you, somebody. <laughs> Not silver. <laughs> Not silver. <laughs> Not that other stuff they be putting it, be putting a nickel. I ain't saying it ain't worth nothing, but we talking about gold. You're putting your gold in the ground and not letting it multiply. And God is like, well, I can't work with that. Right? Because you took mine and you put it where um, the ground wasn't fertile. And so this morning, I'm asking you to, to not put your gold in the ground. Not put your talent in the ground. Not put your influence in the ground, but I need you to multiply it. Somebody somewhere, they need what you have, ladies and gentlemen. They need your influence, right? They need your know-how, right? They need that. And here's the thing. I know you said, well, the market is, is saturated, right? You see what they're doing on the market now, right? Market saturated. Guess what? So what? Because your DNA is yours. Nobody has what you have. You are authentic. And tomorrow, I'll hit you with that message tomorrow. But guess what? You are authentic. So nobody has what you have. Take that talent that God has given you and multiply it because somebody needs what you have. Listen, if I'm talking to anybody, I mean somebody, one person, somebody, just let me know where two or three are gathered. Somebody, just put a one right down in the comments. Just let me know that Rod is not talking. Let me get some hearts, just something. I just want to know to make sure that the message God gave me to give to somebody is getting to them this morning, right? Because this is important. But I want you to understand why it is vital. And then I'm going to get out of here right now. It is so vital that you not put your investment, right? Because God invested in you. He invested in you so that you can invest in his world so that when the master <laughs> comes back, when he's cut, because he is coming back, somebody. I don't know whether y'all knew, right? The season's been changing. The summer's longer, winter's shorter. Listen, he's coming back. You need to be an atypical planter right now, and you need to plant. I know it doesn't look like the time of season that you need to plant, but you need to be a planter right now so that you can get the harvest that God is requiring of you to have. It is vitally important, and today is not the day to look at this video and not share it with somebody. Today is not the day to get back in the lab. Today is not the day to get back in front of your computer. Today is not the day to build your plan. This is the day that the Lord has made. And so we got to rejoice and be glad. And if I'm going to be glad, that means that I'm not just going to sit around wasting time, but I'm going to sit around looking at my investment, watching it grow. That's how we're going to do this thing. Because, you know, we have to see the dream. We have to channel the dream and we have to birth the dream. We cannot any longer in 2021 turn, let me say it again, two zero zero W O N 22 W O N. It is time. And it's time, not just for me, but it's time for y'all. So let's get it going today. Black History Month is today, and even that's a lie because it's Black History 365 every day. Holler back if you hear your boy this morning. But it is time right now for you to do your thing and to make sure that when the master comes back, he does not shoo you away because you did not use his investment, which is yourself, and influence and give him back a return. I don't know how to put it any sharper than that. I'm going to just be playing about it. I'm glad I'm alive. I'm glad you're alive. But now, let's go and live. Don't exist. This is your guy, Rev Rob, telling you to see the dream, channel the dream, and then birth the dream. Because I told y'all before, we do not need to sleep to dream because God has allowed us to dream awake now. I'll be back. Hopefully, this is going to charge y'all up, motivate y'all to do something special today. I'll be looking, but hopefully, you will too. On that note, I love you. Peace. Share this video with somebody. Go ahead. Press that love button, but also share this video because I'm not stingy. I love to share. If I have it, you can have it too. That's what's up. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.